What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of What Zach Does. Today we are with Toasted Mallow. We're here with Trisha. She's gonna teach us how to make their wonderful marshmallows. Give me your information. Give you my secrets? <laughs> yes. Let you in on all, all the fun details? She's like, we just buy a jar of fluff and put it in a bowl and stir it. <laughs> then there's it. no love or passion in that. <laughs> I put love and passion into the market. Okay. So we're good. How do you start? I so see a whole bunch of things here. A lot of things are going on. So right now what we're going to do, we got a couple of things. We're going to put two pots of sugar on the stove. Okay. I'll let you do that. Okay. You ready? Yes. Okay. Sugar me. <laughs> Back here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So you're gonna grab two. Oh, bags. look at this! This is like it's like already made. Oh back yeah, here. it's already made. Oh. So you're gonna grab two of those. Drink it. Oh my god! If you drink that, <laughs> in instant diabetes. Instant diabetes. Yeah. Look at that. So we're gonna put our thermometers in, and you want the sugars to get to 240. Okay. You know, funny story. Isn't this how you start making taffy? Don't you like? like put sugar and start boiling it. Cause when I started doing this with taffy, I burned it and it was gross. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I know you can make caramel this way. Yeah, I think, no, I tried to make taffy and it was like brown. It, it, looked, it looked gross. So that's barely in the tip of the water. Barely in the tip of the water. Cause if you get it too close to the middle of the pot, then you start, you're right. testing the heat of the pot and not the you get actual the, liquid. What is it, induction? It's induction. Induction, I think so. Is it? Maybe. Yeah. I'm, I do go to school. <laughs> I'm homeschooled. So. Yeah, I'm homeschooled. <laughs> just, we just make marshmallows. I so I use egg whites in my marshmallows. That gives it the fluffiness and it uh, gives it the so, uh, meringue kind of Okay, yeah, the meringue, gotcha. Yeah. All right, so just. Crack the egg. Okay. Oh, I almost did the whole thing. No. I literally <laughs> almost cracked it with one hand. It was like, Bleep, look You're at my skills. Your skills I was so close. Okay, <laughs> so you crack it and then you do the. You just do the egg whites. Ew, are you egg touching egg. it? Ew. I am touching it. Ew. You're good. Is that good or bad? Yeah, that's good. I'm a marshmallow king right now. Already. Okay, but you're okay. kind of beating me. I need you to slow down. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna clear my hands off. All right. I thought for some reason they used the whole egg. No, no. And I was like, why is there eggs just sitting out here? Ew, it touched me. Ew, oh, okay. Houston, we have a problem. This is not good. Okay, here we go. No, 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 we're doing good. These are um, pasteurized eggs, so you will not get salmonella. Oh, don't they like heat them up like super crazy? Yeah. There's like no way that these could ever be fermented yeah. or yeah. whatever, incubized. Or incubized or little baby what? chicks. That's not incubized is not a thing. Incubated. <laughs> <laughs> this is a blind leading the blind on intelligence over here. No babies will come out it, of this guy. Okay, gotcha. So then we're gonna do uh, gelatin to put into our mixers. Okay. So what we do is a half a cup of water. Okay. Is this half a cup or is this? Oh, I need to take it from there yeah. into there. Yep. I was like, I can just eye Eyeball it. Perfect. Look at that. That's well, a little bit more. What? Just a little bit. That is perfection. Just a smidge more. How dare you say that I am not perfect? That was definitely a smidge. Look if at I, that. If I had not ever seen a smidge, that look was at that. It. That was a smidge. And we're gonna put cocaine in it. Sure. Okay. Oh my God, that'd be <laughs> such a fun marshmallow. Right? Party marshmallows. So you're gonna do one and one fourth. You put the whole thing in there. Well, I don't know how much one and one fourth is. Oh, okay. Check that out. One and oh my gosh. Perfect. Dude, I am a Spot I am marshmallow genius right now. <laughs> okay, where does that go in there? Goes right in there. Okay. Stir it to where it looks like butter. So we're gonna put the gelatin into this guy. Oh wow, look at that. What? 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 Yeah, gelatin. That looks like sand. She <laughs> makes marshmallows with sand. <laughs> it didn't set as much as yours. Yeah, that's okay. You think I'd being on film all the time, I would put it towards the camera. See what you're doing. Yeah, as opposed to the don't look. Just guess. <laughs> guess at what it looks like. Okay, yeah, this is really hot. Super hot. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this into the KitchenAid. As it's mixing. As it's mixing. Okay. So you wanna put it on stir, because you don't want it on really fast, because then you're gonna splash yourself a lot. Sugar? <laughs> right, I don't want that. And I don't think anyone wants that. Nice and easy. Does it matter how fast it goes in? No. You can go super fast if you like. Oh, okay, that's not as scary as I thought no, it was. No, it's not. It's just 240 degree sugar. You really don't want. You kind of need to respect you. it. Yes. You need to respect, respect it from a distance. You gotta beat these eggs to a, a steep pit, a steep peak. Stiff peak. Stiff, stiff, yeah. Stiff peak. Thank you. So yes. Ten times fast. Stiff peak, stiff peak, stiff peak, okay, stiff peak. Okay, stop, stop, showing off. Oh wow. I'm not gonna be able to do that. No. No. That is so cool. I've never known how to do that. No? Never. So stiff peak means that it's gonna hold its shape when you just did like the blizzard concrete <laughs> mixer thing. So this is what I tell my employees whenever they make marshmallows, you wanna know when it, your eggs are ready by putting it over your head. 
Ooh. So every time. I was gonna slam it down on top of your head. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into this guy. Okay. Look at that. That's like perfect. Oh, I'm so nervous. Uh, I've never made a meringue. That looks really liquidy. I'm not ready to put that over <laughs> my head. I'm so sketched out right now. Does that look good? Yeah. Okay. Put it over your head. Hold on. That's a that's a <laughs> extra piece. Put it over your head. That doesn't look safe. Put it over your head. See? Perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so we will scoop. Look at that. That's the first time I've ever made meringue. So right. now we're gonna add Mexican vanilla bean paste to these marshmallows. What? I thought that was vanilla. It is. Vanilla bean paste. Ah, okay. That looks so gross. Gelatinous. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. It smells so good in here. You guys have no idea. It smells like it diabetes. Smells it smells so good. So you take it off. Okay. And grab the beater. That looks so good. Don't okay. be afraid. Yeah, you you were super aggressive. Yeah. I'm a lefty. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. Dude, that feels so cool. Food fight. No, I'm just kidding. Right? She just puts it near her cell phone like a psycho. Oh yeah. Why not? Uh, what? So we use our mouth to transfer the yes. M and M's into the pan. And then I'm gonna. That looks so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so a handful. Mm-hmm. What if I really want to treat myself and, mm -hmm. and put... I have wait, to. is it one handful or two? You did you. I don't think anyone's complaining too much that there's too many M&M's in their marshmallow. They're like, excuse me, I ordered medium M&M. Okay. This doesn't even look like there's anything in it. Right? Did I put too little? I think I put too little. Oh, I think I just put oh, too little. More. We can just Morse add good. more. <laughs> okay, I'll do half of mine. Bleh. Boink. Oh, look at him. He's a little lone He's survival. All look at him. He's a little survivor. I like how you're already done, and I'm just like. It's okay. I didn't even go out. Salt bay. <laughs> <laughs> you can salt bay that. <laughs> okay. Spreading. We're spreading. Are you always coming up with new recipes? Always. Always, always. There's, I, I get bored. Ta da. That's it? That's it. That's a marshmallow. What if you hit it? No, I'm just kidding. What look at that. We made it. it. See, you did good. Good job. Okay, so. On a scale of one to ten. Yes. New employee. New employee. Rate me. I give you an eight. Yes. I give you an eight. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's because of the bowl, isn't it? The bowl. Yeah. The bowl <laughs> lost you two Damn points. It. Just Damn the bowl. <laughs> this actually needs to sit for a day. This will be ready to cut tomorrow. Yes. But she has some that we're gonna cut so you guys can actually see the whole process as far as how she cuts it. Wait, why do you put that on there? So you want powdered sugar on here just because the top part is so sticky. Oh, okay. And if I put it on here, you will not be able to take it off the paper uh, or anywhere it touches. So that's why you put the powdered sugar on the last one. Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to score this here so you can cut it. Oh, I, I know scoring. I know how to do all that. I can do this. Just trust me. It's fine. Okay. Don't score it. Trust me. So I need 12 pieces. Okay. Math is not my strong suit. Four strips. Oh, okay. That's easy. That's Four easy. Four even strips. That's easy. Nice. I never, I never thought about doing it that way. Why haven't I? What'd you do? Well, how'd you normally do it? I just, well, you cut it right in the middle, which is probably smart, and then the middle again, and then the middle again. And you don't do it that way? No. Here I am, teaching small businesses about how to cut their stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. What I Zach does? I, I actually think I did it wrong. I think it's supposed to be five slices. Wow, good job. Is that good? Yep, yeah, perfect. Do you see that? That's perfect. See, now rating one to 10. I'll give you a nine. Well, we kind of gave people, we kind of gave people the hookup on this. Speaking of, if you guys want to order any of these, they order, the, they sell them online. Tell me your whole spiel about online, because I forgot everything. Already? Go ahead. Yeah, okay. yeah, I've done so forgot it. These guys, though, are for the s'mores bar and only the s'mores bar. Okay. The one that we made is for online and within the store. So if you are cross country, Puerto Rico, Hawaii, or anywhere in the United States, or if you have an APO address, we can ship you marshmallows. If you go to thetoastedmallow.com, we have multiple flavor of marshmallows. They have a ton. A ton. And you also put like hot or cold packs, or you just put cold packs just in cold it? cold packs. When it gets a little warmer than 75-ish, we start putting cold packs in our, our, in our boxes when we ship across the country. Just so, make sure when you receive it, you don't get a messy mess of marshmallows. You right, it's all like, and of course you get a gross. tracking number so you can track where it's going. And you definitely, when you order, want it to go to where there's going to be somebody there to receive the product. Do they have to sign for it? No, but... You just need it to stay out of the of elements. From April to October, right. you really want, because when it gets warmer outside, that they will start melting. Right. So have somebody there, you get the tracking number, you can ship to APO. Is there like a minimum order? Or can somebody no. just get like the little yeah. box and do whatever? So online we sell them in half dozens. Oh, okay. So you can you get half dozens or whatever. Get a half dozen right now. Yeah. 
Order now. Go Not order chosen. right now. It's awesome because they actually partnered with us and she actually has a coupon that's going on. All you have to do is either mention this video or mention the Instagram post and you get... I forgot. <laughs> everything free! It's 15% off your entire everything. Yeah. So mention me and or YouTube and or Instagram. Something that has to do with this, just send them an email and then you'll get that discount, yes. which is awesome. Yeah. You email us at hello at thetoastedmallow.com. You'll get 15% off your total purchase. We'll send you a code to get that discount. Gotcha. Do that. You can, these things are amazing. Like three Christmases ago, I got these guys as a white elephant gift cool. and it was so good. And I didn't know where they were. And come to find out, fate has brought us together. Backyard. I'm gonna give you one to try. Okay. Is this just normal vanilla? So this is just normal vanilla. I made this this morning. So it's fresh, just made, <laughs> bouncy, squishy, pillowy. Do I have to eat him? Goodness. That's, that's my friend, I shall call him Squishy. Now you have to eat him. Didn't, uh, now, now I'm emotionally bonded to him. <laughs> That tastes really good. That's really good. All right, well, see you guys later. <laughs> they have the Reese's Pieces, the Circus Cookie, Mint Chocolate Chips, Strawberry Red Velvet, Cherry Bombs, Banana Split, Coconut, like they have a ton of all of these different types that you can order online. The Cookies and Cream one is the one that I got, and then I got the Mint Chocolate Chip for, they were so good. <laughs> they were so good. They have a Marshmallow Heaven book. What is that? Do they teach you how to do it? That's my book. You wrote a book? I did, I'm on the back page. Okay, that's me. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it teaches everybody how, the sim most simplest way to make marshmallows, uh, how my perspective, how I started. Oh, and then you have the actual like recipes. Yeah. Everything, how to make a marshmallow. Dude. Very layman, no. This is how you make the cotton candy. Look, cotton, cotton candy. You can also make this as well. Yeah. If you go buy her book. This Barnes is awesome. Barnes and Noble, Amazon. Barnes and Noble and Amazon. Marshmallow heaven. Anything else that you need to tell me? Uh, do you want to answer some questions? Good, nice. <laughs> so I have a question here from Instagram. Sweet. From Mr. Hate 45. How many steps are put into making a single marshmallow? Uh, how many steps? Well, you know, we went through a couple of them now. So yes. it's the cooking of the sugar, the eggs. Yes. The gelatin. Yes. The mixing. Yes. The pouring. Yes. And the cutting. So six? Six. Six steps. Six steps that were all made with love. Yes. The next one is how do you get particular flavors into the marshmallows? So funny thing is marshmallows are very porous, so they'll take on a flavor immediately. So and, like tofu. Oh, pretty much, yeah. Gotcha, I guess. okay. So um, I use Silver Cloud. It's a brand of flavorings that I use for my marshmallows. I seem okay. to have the most potency in it. Okay. Um, so I just add a little of that, whether it be a flavor, whether it be a fruto, whether it be an actual item, you add it to the marshmallow and it'll just suck, it'll it, just suck it all up. That's Except awesome. the only thing you don't want to add to a marshmallow is peanut butter. Really? Like with peanut butter, you want to whip it into the marshmallow. You don't want to add it into the mix because then it just deflates it because the oil just breaks down the sugar completely. So you have a fan for Carissa.Nicole oh. said, OMG, I love this place. So why are your marshmallows so heavy compared to the less quality ones? Really? Yeah. I don't know, are they? I don't know, that's what her question is. So heavy. How are um, they, I guess maybe because they're rigid and they're... Well, they are bigger than the regular, than like the store-bought ones. They're yeah. a lot bigger. And they, they do seem actually heavier because they're, they're like more dense. Probably the ingredients. Okay. If I add coconut to it, of course, it doesn't bring more weight to it. If I add chocolate to it, it bring more weight to mm -hmm. it. I think my, my vanilla and my churro and my chocolate aren't as heavy as a regular store-bought one. But oh, I think the gotcha. others that I've added ingredients to it definitely So you, you have like a sliding scale. They like are heavy. To... Oh yeah, they are heavy because when we ship, people are like, why is it so much? And I'm like, a, a half, of, half a dozen marshmallows is about a pound. It's like we had a little baby. What gave you the idea for the business? We kind of touched on that. Oh yeah. It was uh, a way to help you cope yep. with your grand my grandmother mother's yes. passing. Yes. Which is awesome. Yeah. Right. She's like my guardian angel. Um, when she passed, I needed some type of therapy to help me get through it, and uh, marshmallows was the way to do it. Did you? Because I saw that you like entered into like a baking contest. I did. Yep. And then you were like, I'm not going to buy all these ingredients. I did my homework. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm not going to buy all these ingredients. I'm going to make my own marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of how it did. Did you start out with anything else? Were you like starting with pies or anything like that? Or were you like, I just need to do marshmallows? I did. You know what? It was, uh, I remember the past September, um, and the baking contest was every month. So October, November, December, we had baking contests. Oh wow. Um, there was one with strawberries, one was lavender. It just took to me. 
because one, I really am not a fan of marshmallows, but so I want to know how to make a marshmallow. I'm not a fan of marshmallows. Hey, welcome to my marshmallow shop. I didn't like them, so I wanted to know how they're made. So <laughs> I hate marshmallows. I hate them. I hey, didn't you guys like them. Marshmallows? Okay. I did not like them. Okay, so now you've grown to love them. I do. Okay. Um, I love making them. I love the science behind it. I, I love the smiles it brings. I love the unity it brings with families and kids when they come in here. Right. I love that part of the marshmallow. So it just, for some reason, that spoke to me, and it somehow brought me closer to my grandmother and closed that That's grievance awesome. gap. So I don't know. That's super awesome. It worked. What's the craziest combo a customer has ever made? Lavender peanut butter. Ew. Together, it just wasn't something. <laughs> what is your favorite thing on the menu? My horchata ones are okay. amazing. Love them. If you come for my s'mores bar, my favorite s'more is my uh, cherry bomb because it's a vanilla marshmallow, chocolate uh, frosting. It is uh, cherries, cherry pie filling, and brownies, and toasted, and amazing. That does sound actually yeah. really good. If you guys have not subscribed, be sure to do so already. That way we can keep doing awesome things yes. like this. She had a blast. I did. I'm speaking for So much fun. I had a blast. No, it was good. I had no idea how to make anything with a marshmallow. And thank you so much yeah. for inviting us in thank here. Thank you. It was awesome. And I'll see you guys next time on What Zach Does.